Hello traders, and welcome to another episode. The New York session is one of the most liquid trading sessions in the industry. New York and London overlap is considered the most liquid period of the day, where the biggest moves happen in the Forex market. Therefore, it interests many people to trade during this time, because we witness the market movements we want to see. Today, we're breaking down the New York trading session, what it is, why it matters, and how you can make smarter moves during this crucial time. We'll cover the basic concepts, such as liquidity, market structure and overlaps, and other informative information. Lastly, we will share a powerful trading strategy that we have developed based on these concepts. So guys, if that's something that interests you, make sure to hit the like button to show your support and subscribe to our channel if you're new since we publish many advanced trading concepts. See you after the intro and disclaimer. So, what is the New York session? The New York session is considered one of the major sessions in the Forex market. Many traders are interested in trading during this time because of high liquidity. But what are the most liquid trading pairs during this period of the day? In the New York session, the US dollar, Canadian dollar, pound, euro, yen, franc, and gold are being actively traded. So the pairs that have these currencies would have enough liquidity to make the movements we want to see in the market. So, how do we identify the New York trading session on the chart? Open the chart on TradingView and simply select the Indicators tab. Here, write Market Sessions and click on the indicator provided by Leviathan. This indicator shows all the sessions, so we need to make some adjustments. So, in the Settings tab, first uncheck the Tokyo, London and Sydney. Then, we are going to have our New York session marked on the chart. We also need to enable our period separator on the TradingView platform. So right click on the chart and click on the settings. From the events tab, select the session breaks. Then the vertical lines dividing each day will pump up on the chart. Now, if you also add the London session to the chart, you will notice that the London session overlaps with the New York for a few hours. The overlap represents the period of the day when the major movements happen in the market. That's why most lower time frame traders, like scalpers and session traders, prefer to trade only in these hours, which is perfectly fine. However, while understanding the sessions and the overlaps can aid the traders in arranging their schedule, one influence should not be forgotten. The news release. Big news has the power to slow the price movement before release and boost it up afterwards, especially when it goes against the predicted forecast. When a major announcement is made regarding economic data, currency can lose or gain value within a matter of seconds, regardless of the technical situation. That's why trading during the big news release is a bad idea. The start of the New York session often coincides with the release of important news on US dollar currency. So, you must check the economic calendar before placing the trades on US dollar pairs. Now that you know the characteristics of the New York session, let's dive into technical analysis and trading plan. We have simplified this trading plan into four steps. In the first step, we start our trading day with a top-down analysis. This analysis allows us to get a major view of market direction and key levels of market structure. So, starting from the daily time frame, we will mark the most recent key areas to which the price might react. The major levels we are looking for are reversal points, multiple rejections, and long wicks. The reversal points are levels where the price changes direction after a long up or downtrend. The market sees these levels as overvalued or oversold, and there is a higher chance for the price to react to them again. Multiple rejections from an area show that traders took action at this same level at different times, making it more powerful. More rejections are better, but it won't guarantee that the level will hold. When the market taps into a level, we closely watch price action to indicate what is happening. If the rejections are getting weaker every time, there is a higher chance for the price to break through this level, but it will be strong support if the price reaches this area again. Long wick rejections. Wicks are considered areas of high rejection. Large wicks indicate massive buying or selling pressure entering the market. It increases the probability for the price to reject these areas again. After marking these areas on the daily time frame, 
we will zoom into four hours and adjust them based on the four hour candles. Now, we have a vision of market structure levels, potential reversal points, and how much room we have before reaching the next level. If the market breaks through a level, we anticipate the price will advance to the next. Now that we have marked the higher time frame key levels, it is time to identify the market direction in the second step. To find the direction, we only use two time frames, the four hours and one hours chart. In this step, we apply the concepts of break of structure, change of character and liquidity sweep pattern to find the overall direction. Trading along with the controlling side of the market will instantly improve your win rate and minimize losses. In the bullish scenario, the break of structure occurs when the price violates the highest point of the recent market structure. It signals continuation in the same bullish direction. But if the market fails to create a new high, that's the first sign of weakness in the price movement. And if the price breaks below the swing low between two consecutive highs, we call it a change of character, which signals a possible reversal. Now, here is an important point. The size of impulsive price movement matters in identifying the market direction and structure. For example, look at this chart. If we apply the concepts of market structure, we would have three impulsive moves like this. All of them have created a new high. But look at the size of the third impulse. It's barely even half of the previous move. So, in this case, if the price breaks below the swing low, we won't consider that as a valid change of character. A valid change of character occurs when the latest impulse is at least half the size of the previous one. The third factor you need to understand is liquidity sweep patterns on the chart. In the bullish scenario, the liquidity sweep pattern refers to a single candle that sweeps the liquidity below the previous low. This liquidity sweep can be by wicks or body. But the important point is that the price must return to range immediately after this candle closes. In an uptrend, the bullish liquidity sweep is a sign of upward continuation, and a bearish liquidity sweep signals a possible reversal. The same concept applies to a downtrend. A bearish liquidity sweep signifies a downward continuation, and a bullish liquidity sweep signals a possible reversal. Now, the third step is finding optimal trading zones and opportunities aligned with the dominant side of the market. In this step, we simply mark the fair value gaps order blocks, and major supply and demand levels. The previous videos have explained the concepts of fair value gaps and order blocks. But still, if you have any doubts about these topics, check the video links in the description. But what do we call a major supply and demand zone? The major supply and demand levels are areas where the major moves and trends originate in the market. For example, if you consider this as the market structure, these are supply and demand levels but the key areas are the levels that cause the main movements of the market. Identifying key supply and demand levels in trading is important because they represent price levels where significant buying or selling activity has occurred. You could use these levels to make informed decisions as they can act as strong indications, helping to predict price movements and plan entry and exit points. Now, in the final step, we zoom into lower time frames, like 5 and 15 minutes to look for confirmations if needed. For example, imagine that this area is an order block zone in a higher time frame. The bigger picture is bullish, and we need a form of confirmation that this temporary downtrend is over, and the market can continue pushing upwards. This confirmation can come in many forms of price action patterns. A double bottom, for example, shows that the price failed to create a new low, which shows momentum loss. A change of character shows a sign of reversal in the bearish momentum. A bullish liquidity sweep pattern can be a perfect entry reason to open long positions. But remember, before placing any trade with real money, you must do enough backtesting with your trading plan to obtain the performance and required confidence to trade. Now, let me show you some real chart examples and apply all the concepts in this video to find perfect trading opportunities. Here we have dollar yen in the four hour time frame. The price was in a long downtrend before finally reaching this area, which seems like a turning point. The price has broken above multiple structure levels, confirming a shift in the direction. Right now, the price is bouncing from this extreme demand area. So, we will zoom into the lower time frame to read more price action and look for long opportunities. Here on the one hour chart, we want to see a form of reversal for the current short term downtrend to be aligned with the higher time frame direction. 
we can see that the price has failed to create a new low, but still not enough confirmation. The real reversal confirmation comes if the price breaks above this order block, which confirms that the sellers are no longer in control. Now, we can take long opportunities with confidence, and our targets would be these unmitigated supply areas in front of the price. Here, we have an extreme fair value gap, so let's place a trade on the order block and put our stop below the swing low. Here, we have another similar situation. So, without canceling the first order, let's open another position. Now, the missing trades and losing scenarios are inevitable outcomes in the trading business. It does not necessarily mean that your analysis was wrong. However, make sure to write down your exact rules for your trading plan to avoid common mistakes. Now, let's see another example. Here on the pound dollar four hours chart, we have an extreme downward movement that created a noticeable fair value gap area before this drastic move. The consolidation area on this chart could be a perfect selling opportunity, but no matter how good your trading area is, the market can easily ignore this area and continue pushing forward. Right now, we can see that the market has rejected this area with a long wick candlestick, followed by multiple indecision candles. So, let's zoom into the one hours chart. Here, in one hour there is not much price action visible. Suppose we wait for a change of character to confirm the direction. It will be too late to enter the trade. So, we need to zoom into even lower time frames. Here, in the five minutes, we can see a clear reversal in the direction. We can set short entries and place our stop above the swing high. But here is an important point. If we apply the period separator on the chart, we realize that right now, we are approaching the end of the New York session, which is one of the lowest liquidity periods of the day. So let's see what happens. The market enters a phase of consolidation without making the moves we want to see. The true downward movements happened with the opening of the London session and the injection of London liquidity into the market. Increasing trade quality is also knowing when not to take trades, which is just as important as knowing when to take the trades. So if you want to learn more about our trade entry strategies, subscribe to our channel. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up to support us in making more videos more frequently also. Comment below with your thoughts and what kind of topics you want us to cover. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.